And now we turn back to that widespread damage left behind from those storms. We saw scenes just like this one all across our area tonight. Trees and power lines down everywhere you turned. Our Glenn Counts talked with several people in the Myers Park area, and that is where some homes were destroyed. Glenn? Well, Erica, just uh, take a look at this huge toppled over tree, and you can see that this storm was serious. Now, several homes along this street that we're on got hit, but there was really only one close call, and thankfully, that homeowner managed to escape. The storm zeroed in on Myers Park and left a path of destruction. I heard a bunch of wind and like rain and, and, and stuff. I went outside on my patio and there was a big boom. It was crazy. It went from totally blue skies to howling wind and black skies. After it was over, residents ventured outside and saw trees that had been sheared off, blocked streets and power lines. Got my little closet ready in preparation for hiding out and Probably about 20 minutes after it kind of slowed down and now I've been walking around the neighborhood and it just, it looks like Armageddon. There's trees down everywhere. Three of those trees tagged four homes on Circle Avenue, badly damaging two of them. And I saw that tree in the park there looking like something out of Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter twisting around. Charles Shook was home when a tree landed in his office. And I got into my master bath about uh, 20 seconds before that tree came down right in the room I was sitting in, demolished the room. You just hear the wind and the rain and everything, um, but it was surprisingly loud. Steve Cranford's home was also hit, but he feels lucky the damage was not that severe. Yeah, that makes me sick that their house, that's a beautiful old house. All these houses here are old. Well, Glenn, you talked to Mr. Shook, who had that close call, and, and he has an idea about what he thinks might have caused the damage. Well, obviously, uh, Erica, he is not an expert, mm -hmm. but he did spend some time in the Navy, and he has seen water spouts before. And because of that twisting motion, mm -hmm. he thinks it was a tornado, but of course, it'll be up to the uh, National Weather Service to make that determination. Yeah, he got a close, close look at it. Glad that he's okay. Uh, thank you, Glenn.